Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Andrew McVenemy, Chief People Officer. Uh, it's with great pride that I get the opportunity to talk about our amazing staff um, over the next few slides. If I move on to the next slide, it highlights some areas of performance. So in, the term, in terms of the workforce performance, uh, West Hearts continues to benchmark very well compared to other NHS organisations, both in our system and nationally. Uh, in another challenging year for our staff, we maintain good levels of recruitment, both locally and via our established international routes. This kept our vacancies relatively positive and low, while we focused on strategies to support improved retention. Uh, we demonstrated good support and engagement uh, with our staff with high rates of appraisal, alongside compliance with mandatory training. Alongside this, it has led also to relatively low levels of absence within the organisation. Moving on to the next slide, I've identified uh, the key indicator around vaccination. Uh, we continue to support and protect our staff and patients with positive levels of staff vaccination for both COVID vaccine and the flu vaccine. Moving on to staff engagement on the next slide, our staff survey in 2021 was very positive and in fact bucked the trend across much of the country. Our staff gave a positive response to working at West Harps with above average scores on almost all people promise areas that are demonstrated on that slide. We benchmarked very positive against local and London NHS organisations where, we where we were top or near the top on almost every category of the people promise categories. And moving on to the final slide, making it better for our staff. Uh, we have used our staff feedback and listened to our staff to take forward our workforce priorities and priorities over the, that year with a focus on areas such as equality, diversity, staff well-being, staff recognition and opportunities for enhancing staff development. Uh, overall, a very positive picture on our staff uh, and on their commitment to supporting our patients. And I'll pass you over to Mike, our Chief Medical Officer.